So welcome this week in the little vlog. So we will be playing around with some Capture One tips and tricks because this week Capture One came out with a new version, Capture One 20. Why do they jump from 12 to 20? Well, because they want to mimic the year. So 2020 is coming. So they actually decided to, hey, let's change it immediately to Capture One 20 so that each year they can just level up one number according to the year so keeping that in mind now when we jump into capture one which i already started up some of the things they have changed are the way the screens work so normally these were all steady screens now you have the possibility to seriously just scroll through them like it is in lightroom and if you want you can uh, pin this tool any item you can pin to the above segment which means like if we scroll now the white balance changed if we pin it the white balance will stay and everything below it will just lower down now when we unpin it so we remove we move the tool to the scrollable area it's back down here below now another thing they have changed is the dynamic range so normally in the older version you only had uh, whites and blacks but now they changed it up so now they, now they have divided it into highlights and shadows whites and blacks now some people will say hey they're just mimicking lightroom well they are not because when they change highlights they only change the highlights in the image and nothing more so it's a totally different concept if you compare two of the images side by side if you do the whites in Lightroom and the whites in Capture One you will see a difference in there the same with all the other items so I can uh, increase the shadows but still decrease the blacks to still keep my contrast in the image the same goes with I can brighten the highlights and lower the whites now it's something personally what you prefer now it's nice that you have more control of the height and dynamic range because normally you only have blacks and whites but now you can only play no you used to have shadows and highlights now you only have uh, shadows and highlights but now you can control it a bit more with the whites and blacks now this thing if you click on this one it will correct the levels according to the histogram you have in the image uh, that's something totally personal I don't use it that much but if you want to you can now another thing they have changed is the way the colors work so they didn't have the color editor split up in colors they just had a color wheel where you pick the color and then you can adjust it now they have changed it so let's say orange because orange is most of the time in the skin if you want to change the skin tones for instance to more uh, magenta pinkish look we drag it to the left we drag it to the right it's almost identical to Lightroom which has their use U saturation lightness uh, HSL panel now in this one the difference is if you click it will just take one color which lets you allow it to just change that color now you can change the U saturation and lightness because that's what is one color is created of so the U is how much color, how much pigment you want in it. Saturation is how colorful you want it, and lightness is how bright or how dark you want it. Now combine these three together, and you have one color. So that's something to keep in mind. So when you shift, for instance, bluish, I don't think there's a lot of blue in here, no, because this one was shot at a pretty warm white balance. It was shot at. Let's see where it is. This one was shot at 5,924, which is already pretty warm. So if we neutralize it with the pipette, you can see that now we're at 5,000 something. When I change the U now, it will affect a little bit the background. Now, also they changed the layout. So now you have the text under the icons, which were above before you didn't have it. So you just had to guess what, what would do now, if you are a experienced user during using it the time you use it you get to know what works and what doesn't work so that's something yeah just to keep in mind now it's easier the curve to start with capture one is lower because it has all the 
names or things they do attached to it now that's about it for the things that change now layers have also changed so if you create layers you can create a new layer and then you can color it in for instance I want this part let's change the brush size let's say I want the background to have a little bit more texture on it I could then just go to clarity and just shift clarity up shift structure up but what you couldn't do was when you copy the layers you were not able to only select a few now you can select a few layers you want to copy so you can if you create multiple layers and you copy them you could just do like copy and then when you want to paste them you just go to the checkbox and then here you know that one but below they changed this one as well so if we go here and you go to layers you can select which layers you want to copy um, that's something new and well that's about it for the things that have changed um, yeah it's something more advanced something more interesting also now another thing they have changed before I forget it I don't know where it is I have to look it up it is I it, it's the possibility to check a checkbox which says like if you rate an image with a star or a color and you want it immediately jumps to the next image so you don't get stuck like if you rate it five you have to push the arrow uh, to the right and so on so this way you don't have to do it you just um, let's see where it is select next when and then you can choose between star rated or color rated so when you check star rated the moment you select for instance uh, number five if my keyboard wants to work yeah five if you go four it just immediately changes to the next um, set item which is pretty easy when you're doing things so that's about it for capture one and the, th the things they have changed so nothing too crazy nothing too fancy of course it's there's a new engine and some small adjustments but still I prefer capture one next to Lightroom because capture one for me respects the contrast in an image and the, the, s the colors in the skin totally personal and yeah it's up to you which one you prefer but yeah that uh, that's all I can tell you for now about the updates I just installed it yesterday and uh, I will be playing around with it and you will see it in the future updates so thanks for watching and then I'll see you when I see you ciao ciao